Hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Echelon, book two. Um, today, I think we're going to go and try and find the Den of Dragonels. And what the farmer east of East Boa has asked you to clear the Dragonels from the era. The only way to be sure to leave is to destroy their nest. Bring a piece of the destroyed nest back to Adwick for proof of your accomplishment. So, <clears throat> that is the ultimate goal. We, we're having an issue trying to find them. We got sidetracked by that chest that was behind the breakable walls and stuff that we can really get into. Uh, might as well just check to see if he's got... Yeah, he's actually got food now. So let's go ahead and buy, buy his food. So that way he might uh, restock... That. Buy all your apples. On all your apples. Tried meat? Yeah, I'll buy those too. Just the hell. Let's get it all. You gotta leave before you can move them around. Y'all. Alright. So, I'm not 100% sure where these things are. <clears throat> I think maybe if we go back to Anwick's house and maybe go... I think that's a good place to start. Maybe if we get a little light here, too. it help illuminate. <clears throat> yeah. We're trudging our way over here, like, yeah, uh, purpose, porpoise. We've been over here. I feel like we've been over here. Oh. Hey, guys. Troll fever. So we hit less. We need to check. See if we can find some, uh, <clears throat> I forgot what the potion was already, but the potion that gets rid of diseases we need to find. We'll head over that way, because that's my second guess. I think it's a good place to start, but I think we might as well just fully, fully remove this area over here. As a potential location. Oh yeah, he's got a whole bunch of books of light armor crafting for whatever reason. I think even this one had it as well. That's a lot of dragon bells. Detox serum. I'll take that. Oh, hi. Alright, we are not as mighty as we once were. <coughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead and let them... See, I got a weird feeling that this isn't going to work out so well. You guys come in here? Oh, there we go. Oh, yes, line yourself up. Nope. You come to me. As long as you don't kill my neighbor, I will be alright. This one was like, oh my god, he just killed my friends. I mean, he started leaving. I don't blame him. If I just saw a bunch of my friends get turned into bloody red mist, I might just leave as well. Take that. Eh. I think that's worth even carrying because we can't. We don't have a very high carry capacity anymore. And guard. Alright, yeah, this. It doesn't look like they're over here. I mean, there's a lot of them in here, but I don't think this is their secret hiding place, their hidey hole. So, I think we'll go check that one way out, and let's hope that that is where we need to go. Sorry if it sounds like I got sniffles all of a sudden. I like snu 
started recording and I like sneezed five times and had to restart. And all of a sudden now I got sniffles. So, what are you gonna do? <clears throat> I like to get rid of this troll fever, it's really... Really upsetting. Alright. Shift my shoes around. Alright. Maybe we need to actually fully look around at this area, because this seems like where it would be if I was to say. Oh, something like that, maybe. If I sound a little mad at myself, it's because I think we were going up this way the whole time, wasn't it? Weren't we? Hold on, I'll check. Oh, you want some? Come here. It's daylight. I got my sword out. I got my shield out. Troll fever, now I'm gonna kick your ass. This is where, yeah, so we're going up this way. Because <clears throat> I got distracted. And the hive is right here. Fucking goofy looking hive, looks like a vase. Hmm, you see a dragon owl nest. Come here. I, did, I, I lost my sword, didn't I? Fuck you. God damn it, game. God damn it. Yeah, my sword broke. Destroy their nest? I'm hardly doing nothing to it. Hmm. And I lost my sword. Ah! That's not what I wanted. Hmm. Enemies nearby. Bullshit. Bullshit. Lies, I say. Hello, good sir. Do you happen to have some fiery potions of that sort? Of course you don't. Not when I need them. I can't believe I lost my sword. Don't want to get it back, but it sucks, and I kind of really do want to get it back. Let's consume some spider legs, because yum. Yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Alright. Where was... Blacksmith was down this way, I believe. That's dead girl's place. Who died. I killed her in a different game. Alright. Now, it'd be really nice if I could just, you know, walk through here. Talk to him. But, you know, it's fine. I'll walk all the way around. It's okay. It's good city planning. It's good city planning. Don't listen to me. You do have a... Oh. 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 Shit. Cool helmets. Might have said that already, though. Woo! I really like the fucking, uh... Brig and Dean leggings. I really like the, uh, definition it will give to your legs. Look at that. So I got the muscles beat into them already. Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah. They cost, though. They're very expensive. <clears throat> what am I? I got my boy leather sandals. Three. Three. I don't think we could wear heavy armor yet. I don't think I got that. Well, anyway. 
Should I buy this? Why? I wish he had demon oil one. Steel long sword, you know what I bought. I mean, had. Alright. Fucking cost quite a bit, but this might be the answer to the situation. <clears throat> it's okay, I still got my fists. I might even. Is that even an option? I'll get unarmed skill. We don't need the. We don't need the repair of fists. I can't equip this. Cool. Oh. Alright. Well, put my shield away. Now, there we go. I got a weapon penalty for being unarmed. I have no idea what I'm doing. Hopefully the rain doesn't help put out my... I'm gonna save it because... That'd suck if I can spend a hundred... Gold coins on that and then throw it and it's like, Oh, the rain put out your fire. No, no. Fuck that stupid mechanic. Makes sense, but it's dumb. Makes sense, but it's dumb. Hello. Burn, bitch! Burn, bitch! Uh oh. Ah. Why is it so hard to destroy? Place my rock hard fist right in between the mandibles. That dragonfly or whatever the fuck they got. Assuming it's like a grasshopper. Like an alien bullshit. Alright, well, it looks like I'm gonna die partially because I'm killing myself while I'm doing this. Oh, I got health. Fucking stupid. How much did I got left on this? Else is there? I can't really think of anything else to do. I think maybe if there's like a poison I could fucking throw on it, but I don't think so. My worry is that there's more than one. Hmm, well, because that doesn't really work. Hmm. Alright, maybe I should check this one more time. Uh, I just don't think a demon oil really worked out all that well. Oh my god! I mean, I already did some damage to it previously, so... Overall, it didn't do very much. I'll probably hit it once here. Well, there you go. I'm 
Okay. Well, I think I kind of want to have it be daylight out, so I think I'm going to leave. Sick of uh, rain. Getting light out though, so it's better than nothing. I think let's scout around and see if there's another one. Have at the. Yeah, next level up, unarmed combat. Ness just has a lot of HP. I don't think I can heal through it. Probably do it by cheap weapons. Guess that's not a bad idea. Won't slowly kill me. Piercing weapon, copper sword. Bronze hammer, that's cool. Like the thought of that one. Hmm. I think we could actually use piercing weapons. Uh, dagger's piercing, right? Yeah. No, we're out of money. Well, let's hope for, let's hope that was enough. I don't think this will last. Only one way to find this out is to go hit it a bunch of times with my new sword. <clears throat> This again. I'm here. Hmm. 
Oh, I'm not dying. Oh. My sword ended up breaking, though. No, there's gotta be a better way for this. Yeah, a thousand rocks, maybe. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> it's not even halfway yet. This is crazy. You're bashing an object with your bare fists. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Well, I think we're kind of done there. And the only way to be sure to leave is to destroy their nest. Bring a piece of the destroyed nest back. Alright, maybe I'll talk to them and see if there's like a way that you could uh, get rid of them a little easier. Or destroy the nest a little easier. Like, oh, throw a piece of sulfur in there and the nest will just disintegrate. Well. Oh, see. Something like that. <clears throat> uh, Tell me of this area. Back this way for months. Nah, that was it. Goddamn. No useful information? Okay, well, fuck you, dude. Thanks. Alright, so we're gonna need to do, I don't know, a holding quest. Hey, man. A man named Minus has informed you that your strange blue glasses decoding tool used by a secret guild. This seems to match the story that Darius gave you that belonged to a secret guild called the Creus Vindica. One more, Minus said you should take the viewing glasses at St. Gilhelm and Laxton Hall Academia in Port Curad. Curad. That might be a good start. What killed? No, Laxton Hall Academia. The scholar's in. Doesn't need to look around until we find out. I don't think we found it yet. Judic Temple of Atana. Hmm. That looks familiar. Trap door. We're dehydrated. We're going to die because we don't have enough water. Potato. What is this? Redcliffe Exotics. Hello, Redcliffe. Hmm. Woo! I want that one. <clears throat> I don't think this one was worth it. Because it's um, not much more damage than what we had with our other sword. This one, a little bit better. 
Wait, sire. Oh, this is tungsten. I want this one. I want it. Ooh. Well, I know where we'll be visiting eventually. I just fucking steal all his shit. Nope, guess not. Alright. Hmm. See so yeah, a full armor fully armored sentinel standing guard at the massive iron gates to see a pure Q dead. Uh I think your citizen right the guard Brett barks loudly back at you. You hear the guard sign underneath his helm. This isn't the first time he's had to answer this question, Q. Your side script he's spoken a hundred times before. It's a document granted by the security minister of Misfell, certifying that you are a citizen of Misfell, or that you have been granted permission to do business in this province. Uh, due to the instability of the neighboring regions, the Chancellor has decreed that all persons traveling into or out of Misfell must show proof of citizenship. Since Perk Kudad is a point of entry to the international shipping lanes, you must present a citizen's writ if you wish to enter or leave the city. Uh, I don't have one. How do I obtain one? You must send a request of intent to the Office of Trade Affairs, and they will schedule a hearing to approve or deny your writ. This hearing will be 10 to 12 weeks after the council receives a request to add for your... For the hearing, you must also bring with you proof of identity, and if you do not own a property within the city, there will be a 300 gold passport fee. <clears throat> Alright, thank you all for my request. Good. Crazy bullshit there. Mm hmm. Uh, that's the St. Gilhelm in Loxton Hall Academia. Loxton Hall Academia. I don't think it's down here. I just want to check. It's best of luck all around. And it's definitely not this man. Yeah. Mama. F oh, sorry. Sorry, Fanny. <clears throat> that was not a man. What is this? Misfell Port Authority? That's right. That's the blacksmith. Not weird. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shut that because it's weird, obviously. Okay, where is this academia hall? Oh, I don't think it's over here. No, it's not. How have we not seen this place yet? I blame you guys. Fucking spiders. Alright, well there you are. Hmm. This looks like a thing. Luxon Hall Academia. Well, I guess we found it. You step into the grand library that is a locks in a hall. The smell of ancient tombs and dusty scrolls fill your nostrils. There is history and knowledge here. Written with countless priceless strokes on a frail parchment as old as the record ages. Recorded ages. Perhaps the sum of all known things exists in this one institution, and upon this realization you are humbled. Humbled to death. You died by being so humbled. Well, I need to know... This painting is very old, judging by the technique used by the artist. The subject is unknown, an unknown scholarly man holding a book and a quill. This is a painting of a man sitting amongst several stacks of books. Hmm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Tyler read those just to see if there's anything potentially funny there. His bricks are stacked floor to ceiling. Thousands upon thousands of bound tomes are squeezing into every last inch of shelf space. Now you're driven by curiosity to look through them. It was said nearly all are written in an ancient script that you are not familiar with. It is likely that only a handful of scholars today could read the writing on these pages. But, alright guys, I'm sorry that this one was a little slower on the slower side. Um, yeah. I'm not 100% sure what the hell we're supposed to do with that fucking nest, because... I mean, my fucking sword just, like, shit the bed. Maybe, like, a hammer? Maybe a hammer would do better? Which would be weird. Because what if you took it and you were, like, some other class, like a ranger? Huh, who knows? But, when we come back next time... We'll go ahead and start continuing the main storyline. Uh, first with the uh, Oxen Hall Academia. We'll talk about our viewing glass. This guy. Strange viewing glass. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Let me know if you want to see more Echelon Book 2 in the future. If you like what I do in general, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to leave any kind of feedback, comment, or just want to say hey, I will say hey back. So until next time, take care.